Hi and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here and today I'm going to be painting this limited palette painting of the edge of a park with all the sort of overgrown weeds and brambles, a little fence and a few trees. I'm limiting myself to three colours, that's um, yellow ochre, indigo and Payne's grey. And you can see that I've got some pretty salt effects in the foreground and I'll be showing you how I do those. Today I'm trying out um, Saunders Waterford rough paper. I don't often use it. Um, I prefer hot press or cold press, but I've heard good things about the rough paper and I've heard especially good things about using the reverse side of the paper. Um, a lot of artists such as Edo Hanama and Andy Evanson recommend using the reverse side as the texture is a little bit less obvious, but it still has all those wonderful characteristics that you'd expect from a rough textured watercolour paper. I've taped the paper to my board with ordinary decorator's masking tape and um, my board's at an angle of about 20 degrees so gravity will help with the painting. I'm going to paint this wet in wet and use an experimental approach. I'm just letting the paint sort of dictate what happens to a certain extent, keeping a rough idea in my mind, but just going with the flow. I'll be using various wash brushes to create the effects that I want. First of all, trying to get a nice, plain, graduated wash for my sky using yellow ochre. So I hope you can see that after a fairly sort of loose abstract approach where 
things just seem to look a little bit messy and a little bit muddled. The scene is now coming together. Um, I've scraped some texture through the landscape um, horizontally to make some interesting marks and tones there. And using the palette knife again, I'm etching through the wet paint to create trees. I've laid my board flat now, now that I've got the washes where I want them to, and I'm gonna use my salt now. It's just ordinary fine table salt. Uh, what's important is that my um, paint isn't too wet and isn't too dry. It has to be just that sort of sweet spot, which only you can work out for yourself through experimentation, um, what that moment is, uh, because the, the timing of putting the salt into the paint um, is different for everybody. It depends whether you work in a hot studio um, or a cooler studio, how much humidity you have. Everything like that will affect the way the salt works. So like nearly everything in watercolour painting, we can just show you what works for us. But in order to find what works out for you and the individual conditions in your studio, um, you need to do those experiments yourself. I'm now adding extra texture by scraping through the um, salted paint with my palette knife and that should increase the suggestion of uh, brambles and weeds and wildflowers growing around the edges of my park. I now need to leave it to dry completely. I've left it to dry naturally and the salt effects look pretty good. I'm going to brush any grains of salt off of the painting that hadn't been dissolved by the water, but I'm really pleased. That was the effect that I was looking for. And now I need to go in and paint um, using the uh, wet on dry technique. So using wet paint onto the dry painting to add some slightly crisper detail and darker tonal values just to bring my painting together because at the moment everything's soft and loose from the wet in wet and now the wet on dry will help me to establish a little more detail and my darker tones.
adding the fence with the tips of a large flat brush is a nice finishing touch using a dark mix for my Payne's Grey and my Indigo. And of course, as soon as the tape is removed, um, one of my favourite moments with these sorts of um, demos, we can see the painting as a whole. And here it is in slightly better light. Um, I really like the way these colours work together. It makes for a really nice, interesting, limited palette. It's great for exploring tonal value, uh, but also for experimenting with things like the sort effects. I paint these kinds of paintings um, quite a lot for my own personal paintings. I really enjoy painting sort of outskirts and edgelands, the edges of towns, the overgrown and overlooked areas. Well, I hope you enjoyed um, the demo. Uh, please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thanks so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon and welcome to all the new supporters. It's lovely to see you there and thank you so much. We really appreciate you. Please follow the links below if you're interested in supporting the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye. <laughs>